What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy in the last part we did some We did some one-off stars the first space jump galaxy star and some cosmic comets in this part We're gonna finish the face from all right enemy base spotted. So what we're gonna do in this part We're not gonna go to the enemy base However, we are however going to go to the to do the rest of the space jump galaxy. So uh What we're gonna do now is uh go to Camilla's airship attack. Actually, real for such a uh, for someone having a lukewarm reception to Space Junk Galaxy, uh, I really like this star. Let's just say I really like this boss. But anyway, we get to go on the airship. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a reason like uh the my re reaction towards Space Junk Galaxy is kind of lukewarm. So uh. Now, um, if we, uh, I thought there was a toad in there. There should be a toad around here. Is there a toad? I might be thinking of the other. I might be thinking of the, of the other, the first airship mission, but anyway. Let's die, Goomba. I don't get the star bits, unfortunately. I get one of them, but, uh. So anyway, so this rabbit is going to, uh. You get stuff that's too high to reach. Really jump and then spin. So, like, uh. Or I can just long jump. Or backflip like that. <laughs> what we're gonna do is jump and spin. Oh yeah. So yeah. Die, Goomba. Die. Die, Goombas. Yay! Anyway, so uh, I do want to get this uh, thing over here. Get some more star bits. And I can just backflip up there. I think if you're Mario, you have to jump and spin, but, uh, if we go over here, we get star bits. And if we go in this chest, we get, uh, the we get uh, a coin, so I could have sworn we got a, uh, I could have sworn we could have gotten a, uh, a, uh, mushroom, but I assume that's in another level. So what we want to do is that you want to, basically, Koopa Shuffle can use open chest and attack enemies. Oh yeah, this is what I'm thinking of. This is what I'm thinking of. One of these chests is gonna have a uh one of these chests is gonna have a uh mushroom. But anyway, we wanna use this pull star because if we go down here. Look at all those star bits. We got a one-up. We're almost at two one-ups. So yeah, you can get a lot of fucking star bits in this area. We're almost at a uh, hundred, so um, let's see what this toad has to say. Actually, we have to talk to him. What, what does he have to say? If a shell is just out of reach, you can still spin to pick it up. So yeah, we can just get these Koopa Troopas and uh, try to see if we can find our mushroom. Which there it is. Oh. Yeah. And they can also be used for taking out Octa Rocks like these. I think they're called Octa Rocks. They're not, I, they're not called Octorocks, those are, that's Zelda. They look, they sure look like Octorocks from the Zelda games. Now, if you get a red shell, it can actually go within, like, it's like Mario Kart where it can steer in any direction. But anyway. But anyway, now, uh, this is Kamek. This is, uh, this is, uh, Camilla, actually. Uh, so, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's called Camilla. So, uh, what we're gonna do is she's gonna shoot fire, and then she's gonna shoot a, uh, Koopa shell. What you want to do is you want to hit her with the Koopa shell and not fuck that up like that, like now. So, we have to go through a whole cycle again. So, uh... Oh, yeah, hit her in the face like that. We should get a one-up out of these star bits, which we do. Oh yeah, hit her a second time. She's gonna get particularly pissed the, the last time, and she's gonna uh, she's gonna summon some cam some magic koopas. So what she's gonna do now is uh, let's get all these star bits though, and uh, eventually what she's gonna do is uh, pull out the Koopa Troopa. Oh yeah, and that's uh, boss. That's Camilla taken care of. 
We do have to fight her a second time later, but, uh... Let's see what's in this. Okay, just coins, so, um... I guess there's, uh... There's technically two more levels, because each of these, uh... Air, each of these new areas is going to have a uh, prankster comet. So there's a prankster comet and a third star we have to take care of. Actually, there's a few more stars we have to take care of, but, uh... So I think, uh, depending on which order we're going to take care of, uh, we're going to take care of the third star. There is a, there's also a secret star, so, uh, this is going to be the first of the world that has the stars as a secret mission, so, uh... We'll get rid of, we'll get, we'll cover everything. But, uh, this is Toronto Roxas Tango Lab. So, I'll do the mission normally first, and then I'll cut to where you find the secret exit. I think that should how it goes, but, uh... Because it, it's another one of those, uh, instances where you'll feed a hungry Luma. So, yeah. This is another boss, believe it or not, there's another, this is another boss star, so, uh... You know, I'm not real. I, this is, I wouldn't say I'm as crazy over this boss as I am the last one. So, uh, again, it's just a. I, I wouldn't say this is a bad world. It's just more like get it, just get it over with kind of world because because the next the world after this is by far one of my favorite worlds in the game. So, uh, I feel like when I reach the fountain, it's just I want to look forward to the next area. So yeah, there's a, uh, now I think that Hungry Luma is going to want 50 star bits, so that does sound right. So, uh, we'll get as many, we'll do the star bits in the, uh, next, we'll do the, uh, secret star after this. I'll just cut till I, uh, because I don't, I don't think I want to show up going through this, uh, star again. Especially since I put a good majority of people watching this have probably played Mario Galaxy before. Anyway, so, uh... We do have enough to feed the Hungry Luma. Let's just, uh, do this proper. Let's just go to the boss. Now, I don't think we're even at the boss. We're at a... So, yeah, it's another instance of playing the airship music. Now, we want to actually use these tangled webs and, uh, kind of get rid of the toad. We could drag him to his- we can make him fly with death, however, uh, I want to see what he says. Just be careful, because if you, uh, go off site, it is- it does count as a death- Hugh, thanks. So, uh, if you go a little off site, it does count as a death, so, uh, I think it's kind of hard to die in this area anyway, so, uh, let's go here. And then get a health extension. And then get this uh, little guy right here. We have to kind of... No, I'm not. Okay. I just said it was hard to die in this section. So uh, let's go to this uh, web here. I like how we were not in the direction in the middle. We hit the middle anyway. So anyway. Okay, the toad is not strong enough to hit it. Whatever. Hey, Luigi, what is that thing? But anyway, we hit him. This is Tarant Rocks, anyway, so, uh, he's gonna squirt, uh, this kind of juicy thing. What we kind of have to do is, uh, not hit him in the face. That, I think I actually stunned, that stunned him in the face, but, uh, if you hit him in his sides, it also stuns him. What we actually want to do is, uh, is hit him in his bottom. And then, uh, hit the three, uh, red things, and that counts- that basically counts as a hit- that's how he gets- he counts as a hit, basically. I can't even talk today, but, uh... I missed, fuck, but anyway... But anyway, we got it right, so he's gonna have two phases, and he's gonna be particularly mad the second phase. He's gonna squirt the things out of his little ones this time, so, uh... Crazy- We're not gonna be able to stun it- No! I did not mean to climb on that thing. Thankfully, we have like, uh. Alright. Alright, we got him. 
I I don't I'm not usually this sloppy on this boss, but uh anyway, so um one more hit and he should be dead. I'm not gonna get that coin, because I can take five more hits. Oh shit! Anyway, he's dead. So yeah, that's Ther that is that is Tangled Web. Uh not a very hard boss. Again, I don't really think any Mario Galaxy boss is really that hard, but uh, I'm the same person that died in the first mission, so... And I was clearly having trouble getting that star, so, uh... Anyway, Hungry Luma has appeared, anyway, so, uh, I was gonna cut till, uh, well, I have to do a speedy comment, so I think after we do a speedy comment, I'll just cut till the, we get the, uh, 50, uh, things, because I'm not going through that mission normally, and this is another one of those speedy comments, and fortunately, though, actually, do we have to do the whole stage? Yeah, we do have to, Pulsar Path speedy run, so yeah, we do have to do the whole stage, so, uh, I guess Nintendo thought of speedrunning when it was when it was like a new thing. Because believe it or not, in 2007, like speedrunning was like a was really starting to get discovered. Like a lot of those old Mario speedruns, even the ones that were kind of cheated. I swear to God, my one of my favorite instances of like cheating and speedrunning is like when that guy like uh, that got a Mario 64 world record like 20 years ago. He openly bragged about it in someone's comments, and then and then. A moderator saw the comment and found it to be spliced. I thought that was kind of hilarious. It's like, he has to openly brag about his time he never legitimately got. But anyway, so, uh, let's get these, uh, how am I having trouble collecting, uh, sometimes when you're, sometimes when you're, I will say about Mario Galaxy, so I'm not gonna have played the game in a while. I'll get I'll have trouble accustoming to this game's mechanics, let's just say. Like the planet mechanics. Anyway, so um So what we're gonna do now is uh we have to just beat the clock basically. I guess that's just it. We're basically doing the same mission twice, but we have to just beat the clock. I'm not even gonna try to see if I can get as many star bits. Like, if it was hard for me to find commentary for the start of the first time, again, I'm having... I guess the real commentary is that I'm having trouble with the sensory bar. The sensor bar. I guess maybe in the next recording I'll move the Wii sensor bar closer, but, um... Yeah, I'm using the... Uh, my setup actually includes, believe it or not, an HDTV and a CRT monitor that I use, so, uh... No! Anyway, so, uh, sorry for that inconvenience, but I literally just dragged my sensor bar closer to me, so, uh, it's the first thing to go, so, um, because I am not doing the star over. Anyway, there's the, uh, yellow toad. So, yeah, my setup basically includes a CRT monitor and an HDTV that I kind of look for dual screens. I look at the CRT monitor during recordings and the, uh, the, uh, basically, uh, the usual TV during casual play. Like, I'm looking at the CRT monitor right now. And I do not want to fuck up this part because I am not doing the start over. Alright. Oh, yeah. We gotta be careful, we gotta beat the clock, but we also gotta be careful we don't slide off the platform. Again, because we are using slippery mechanics. I'm kind of taking my time, I know I have to kind of beat the clock, so, uh... I'm kind of finding a middle ground here, so, uh... Okay, we have a minute to get that star. Watch me die trying to get the star.
Oh shit, oh shit, okay. Take our time, take our time, take our time, take our time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, I'll see you guys when I, uh, I'm at the Hungry Luma. And we discovered a new galaxy. Anyway, so once you have 50 star bits, we should uh, get the pull star and go to the Hungry Luma, not fuck that up completely. <laughs> Seriously, sometimes this game... I will say, even though I love Super Mario Galaxy, sometimes its physics can be uh, wonky. Sometimes it can be weird compared to other 3D Marios, but uh... Where the hell is that Hungry Luma? Did it just go AWOL? Oh my god. Alright, should be around. Where the hell is it? There it is. He's gonna go through that same text anyway, so we have to give him 50 star bits and he'll transform to a planet, which, uh... Come on. Oh, yeah. Now let's give him the 50 star bits. There we go. Here we go, and transform! Anyway, so a new planet was born, so we're gonna go, um... To this Yoshi planet, which Yoshi's the only appearance in the game. Yoshi actually has a full appearance in Galaxy 2, but, uh... What actually happens if you... I'm, I like to try to see if I can, uh, get a combo, which... that My combo's five, unfortunately, but, uh... You can't get any coins from these Goombas, so just be a little careful you don't get hit. Honestly, I wouldn't risk going for a combo, just... Try, because I think you can get lives out of this, but just, uh, be a little careful. Fo Your main focus should be can get taking care of these Goombas. I think there's only one left. Actually, there's a few left. Just, uh... You don't even get Star Bits, either. Alright, two left. Well, actually, no, there's, uh, four. There's three left. I am miscounting today. Oh yeah, that's what happens when you take out the Goomba, so it's gonna be on top of the Yoshi head. That's actually the final, final star can really do and good at in Space Shark Galaxy until much, much later, so um So anyway, that is going to cut it off for this part of uh, Super Luigi Galaxy, so uh... Next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to tackle the uh... Spa the Battle Rock Galaxy. See you guys then.